Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Capricorn for the week of December 11th, 2023. Hello, my Cappies. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. So this week, there's a lot of positive changes happening for you on Monday. We have a kite energy happening with Apollo and Venus in the 11th house. And then we have a stellum in your 11th house. So there's a lot of movement and progression happening with career. A lot of growth happening for some of you. This could be getting a job, raise, or promotion with this energy this could be a job transfer happening for others of you you could be quitting your job and then finding very quickly a better paying job so this is a beautiful time for that you can be more about your social life and the focus could be more on your family visiting family with this energy as well you could be getting a, an, um, a job this week despite the energies when mercury's in retrograde like that and something auspicious like a career happens it just means that there's a possibility of career growth happening for you where where you just got the job at okay or you could be moving on to something else this could be a popular energy time for you you can be more about your social life and on top of that we have a beautiful um, fire trine happening with Chiron Volcanus and the planets in Sagittarius in your 12th house for some of you, the 4th, 8th, and 12th house. This could be traveling coming up, and it could be an auspicious time for traveling. This could be business picking up um, with the kite energies happening in your 4th house. This could be having babies, new additions to the home, getting a home, selling a home, an auspicious time for growth happening for you with this energy. Lots of communications going on with family with this energy. This could be a great time to delve into the spirit of Hanukkah, um, miracles and wonderments here with this energy a positive time to delve into religion this is a beautiful time to delve into God's energy because again like I said in in the monthly horoscopes um, you have a stellum in your 12th house of subconscious and self undoing now the stellum in Sagittarius means that you need to delve more into see into your spirituality and less about worrying about the almighty dollar and getting ahead in life okay so you kind of like need to be more about God's energy here, you know, and you know how God gives us like like God gives us and God takes us, takes it away. So you need to be like gratitude is the attitude, start reading the Torah, start praying in your Bibles, things like that to help alleviate these other aspects of the um, astrology for you, especially as a Capricorn rising or sun in Capricorn. Then on the 12th, the new moon in the 12th house of subconscious and self undoing, um, doctors, psychics, um, healers, imprisonment obstacles with career can be removed be realistic about the help you give others because it can be too much for you be realistic about your giving energy this is a busy time you can be working overtime you can be learning new things this is a time of karma um, you could be ending karmic cycles at this time so certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life you can be going through a lot of changes this week or you could see a lot of sparks and miracles happening to you all your patience and hard work could be paying off and karma is energy so whatever you know the universe is Whatever you give to the universe, you're getting back at this time. So just know that, for better or for worse, okay? Um, so Pluto, as you're getting prepared, you're going through a lot of changes this week and probably for the rest of the month and in January because you're getting prepared for Pluto and Aquarius in your second house. Now, some of you check out Astro Theme in the link in the description box below, but some of you do have um, Pluto already transiting your second house. So you can see a lot of changes this week happening with your money as Pluto is already at 28 degrees here with this energy. So this could be a beautiful energy time for you. Very powerful energy, a lot of emotional stability coming your way you can feel like you can conquer the world with this energy then on the 13th mercury goes retrograde till january 2nd you are super serious you're more quiet into yourself i would be careful here because you still have a stellum in your 12th house you're very much the pessimistic for some of you here delve into faith consciousness try to see beyond your six senses you have a beautiful energy here this week i feel like you do make it a point to get along with everybody this week also you could be getting along with those in authority this is still a time of growth here as well politically political 
could be politically minded in your way of thinking. You could be throwing yourself into something new. There is a significant turning point in the course of your life and your life changes. You will value your freedom and assert your independence and you lack patience for others. Your sense of identity is probably changing very profoundly at this time, potentially causing problems in certain relationships in your life as well. Then on the 14th, you can be more quiet into yourself, or you could be spending time with that one friend or sticking around more towards family. You're not intriguing new people in your life. Others may voice their affections for you or compliment you. It is a good time to ask for favors. Your views and ideas are more popular, but at the same time, you're not trying to connect with other people. You're very reserved and you stay more to yourself. But don't be surprised if others are making a point to get along with you or help you in any kind of situation. I would be careful with this energy as well because you may not be getting your thank you when it comes to helping out certain people in your life or all that you have done for them. It could be a situation where friends could be like, for example, um, if you're like psychic or an astrologer or something like that, they could start like watching other people and comparing you to other people and then it's going to make you feel some kind of damn way. And then you're going to get annoyed and then you're going to be like, what the hell? You know, like your chopped freaking liver. All right. So it could be like that kind of situation going on with this energy. OK, um, so I would be careful with that. They're going to. Um, so you could feel like some kind of damn way when it comes to friends or the women in your life, um, not asking you for help and going somewhere else for help with this energy here. Ego tends to reign supreme on Thursday. So be careful. Let go of ego and don't allow it to get the best of you at this time. Try to focus on other things in your life that you can control with this energy. You know, just because, you know, we're all going through it at this time and been going through it for some of us. And it's like, don't allow, uh, if you're in a good spot and you're in a good place emotionally, work on not allowing people with their words, like bring you down emotionally because they're going through it. You know, I've had that happen to me and I don't allow other people to bring me down emotionally just because you're going through it and you're not happy in your life or you don't have the man that you want is not my fault okay on the 15th your personal popularity increases others will tend to lean on you for emotional support and will confide in you watch for a tendency for overindulgence you may lack self-discipline you may have the urge to travel or receive an inv invitation from afar this is a good time for pleasure trips through traveling um it's and this is normally a productive time for writers and publishers. This is an excellent time to release a book, go on a book signing tour. You may receive invitations to social events, but there may be strings attached to it. You may end up um, spending more money than you wanted to. You may lack seriousness and you may be prone to making inappropriate jokes. So be careful. Social, awkward, or embarrassing situations can crop up. So cock those brains before you shoot that mouth off. You're not funny. Okay? This could be a good time for airing out your grievances as you're unlikely to push too far. Don't pay too much for the sake of peace now or too much for luxuries. You find it incredibly hard not to procrastinate even when you resolve to work through your feelings. You are likely to run into a number of distractions. Don't try to get anything important done at this time. You will probably overindulge yourself in food and drink unless you're careful. If you go too far, you may suffer indigestion or heartburn. Financially, this is a time where you're prone to extravagance. You may overspend. You may make bad judgments in investments, or you can watch towards vanity at this time. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. So the five of wands, I see on the job training at this time. For some of you, this could be giving your expertise and advice to somebody. This could be training other people with this energy. A great time for those of you in college. The three of cups, lots of communications going on with friends and family this week with this energy. The empress card, emphasis on family. You may benefit through family at this time. You could be receiving a lot of attention from family during this time period. So there could be some kind of family reunion or family could be reconnecting with you. The seven of wands, certain things in your life can be a bit of a process. So emotionally, this can be a frustrating time for you with this energy, okay? Expect delays at this time because it is the holidays. So, you know, certain things are gonna be put on hold till next year with this energy. The Eight of Cups, you're over certain situations that are going on in your life and you're ready to walk away from certain situations because you're just done, all right? <clears throat> you're just done and you're just over it. All righty, the King of Coins, you benefit through the men in your life. 
with this energy here. So this could be like those in authority. This could be the men in your life, okay? The Five of Swords, I feel for some of you here that you could be intimidated by certain people at this time. Um, you may have a hard time saying no to certain people with this energy here. For some of you, you could be butting heads with other people um, during this time period. Either they're putting too much work on your plate with this energy or you're having a hard time getting along with them. Or they could be just like offering you, like telling you, like making you their assistant, okay? For some of you here, you are making friends. This is a great time for networking. This is a great time for making friends with the movers and shakers of life people in power and authority with this energy for some of you, you could be making friends with rich friends or people of influence with this energy so this is a very good time for that the um, chariot card i see a victory coming up for you um, for some of you certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life for some of you this could be good news in regards to court okay so this could be ending certain court things at this time for others of you this could be a situation here where um you know, court could be in your favor and they're going to close up like by, oh, by the end of the year for some of you. All right. So certain things you're getting out of or no longer apply with this energy. Okay. The nine of coins, I see you happy on an emotional level and a financial level. So for some of you, there is more money coming to you or you're not having to pay for certain things in regards to court anymore. So you could be getting out of that cycle. So certain chapters of your life is closing up and you're able to save money and put your money back into your pockets. The Queen of Wands, I feel like for some of you here, you could be receiving some kind of ultimatum. This is a great time for arguing because people tend to listen to you and you people could be giving you emotional validation in regards to um, your feelings at this time and validating your feelings with this energy. This is a great time to lawyer up, but nothing's going to start until the beginning of the new year. Okay, so expect delays. This is a great time for teachers, speakers. Okay, so anything with communications is a great time for you. Also, for some of you here, this could be a fun time throwing holiday parties. I see a successful career change coming up for you. More money coming for you with this energy. The king of wands, I feel this is a positive time for miracles and wonderments. So for some of you, keep the energy positive because I see that this is a great time for manifesting. Either your partner is going to be very generous with you this month, or this could be a great time for manifesting what you want with this energy and getting your way with what you want during this time period as well alrighty I feel like for some of you here that you need to exercise discipline and self-control at this time because you're going through changes here so you may want to move slowly and practice more self-discipline and control until things go for some of you this could be a busy time period for you so and you're going through some very fast changes so slow down and be cautious with the decisions that are coming up that you have to make the um, four of wands I see you very happy at this time you could be receiving a pleasant surprise or somebody could be calling you that you haven't spoken to in a very long time. This could be a family member for some of you. For some of you here, this is a great time to get monetized on the social media with this energy here. You can be cerebral and in your head at this time, or you could be spending more time online. The Nine of Swords, I see there's going to be endings of situations, and you're very reluctant to close certain chapters in your life at this time. You could also have buyer's remorse with this energy. I feel, yeah, you're going through it emotionally. I feel like change this week could happen very quickly and very abruptly for you as well for better or for worse changes change energy is energy so just be aware of that okay and this is a karmic cycle here that we're going through with your 12th house so I feel like for some of you here this could be an end of a relationship or an end of an error in your life starting over in your in your life as well with this energy so this could be bittersweet for you with this energy so for some of you, you could be getting out of the grieving stages of like ending a relationship for others of you you could be grieving a relationship um, for some of you you need to be careful while driving you can be accident prone so be careful with this energy for some of you here this could also be dealing with um, court cases but I do feel like court's going to be more in your favor all right for some of you you're starting over in certain areas of your life you're more about your financial security so there's money worries happening here during this time period all righty but I do feel like your money situation is going to get better okay so you know 
you may not see it right away, but I do see you happy on a financial level and an emotional level. I do see a move happening for some of you, or this could be traveling coming up for some of you. The Two of Wands, I feel for some of you here, this is a time of reinvention. This is a time of getting more organized, learning new things during this time period as well. Um, for some of you, this could be taking your ideas and putting them into your reality during this time period as well, being very original in your way of thinking, finding your niche in the world as well. Um, so very positive time. For some of you here, I feel like you need to be careful, pick and choose your battles because some of you are asking for trouble at this time or you want trouble. So you could be looking for for some kind of trouble with certain people in your life, okay? Um, because you want to start something. You're not making the best decisions, so I would get a second opinion with this energy as well. Mull it over with friends or family to see if you're moving in the right direction. I feel for some of you, this could be a great time. Again, emphasis on networking, event planning, coordinating at this time. The Ace of Wands, taking creative risk at this time, stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, you're very cerebral, a lot of wands. You're very creative. You're spending more time online. Line. For some of you, this could be a great time for those of you in media and social media. The hangman card, indecisions are coming up. The cards say don't just dream it, do it with this energy here. For some of you, this could be thoughts of moving. The Ten of Wands taking on more responsibilities. You are definitely a realist, a skeptic at this time with this energy because certain things are not going your way. I feel like you're sitting on your hands about a lot of things in your life or you are expecting delays at this time. I do see some kind of job transfer or changes happening with career. The Four of Cups, this is a great time to delve into prayer, meditation, um, to make yourself happy at this time and focus on the things you can control. Now, I do see you winning legal matters at this time. For some of you here, this could be still in court or fighting with court. You could be dealing with child custody battles with this energy here. The world card, a time for destiny, manifesting what you want, traveling coming up. Um, certain things that you do at this time is going to unlock certain um, aspects of your life. And the death card, this is a great time for climbing the corporate ladder here. This is going to be a beautiful time for career for some of you with this energy. All right. I love you, my cappies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Kisses.